part 30. This will be the last one. I guess it's getting late enough where I can't go into some of these rooms now. So we will... Well, it shows that it's only 12.23 p.m. Maybe I should quick save before I go in here. This is interesting. Pre-war book, coffee mug, vodka. More vodka. Whose room is this? Whose room is this? All the drinking would lead me to believe that they killed Boone's wife. I'm going to quick save again and then go into Boone's room. Hopefully he doesn't get pissed. Beat it. Oh god, I'm sorry. You shouldn't be here. If people know we... T and if whoever did this smells a rat, they'll have a legion after both of us. Okay. Don't come here again till it's over. Sorry. Don't kill me. Okay. So we've checked all these places. Who else can tell me some shit? That's boarded up there. I still need to talk to that, uh, no bark dude. You look old. Careful. Oh, shit. Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. Hmm. We'll just see about that. You come any closer, and I'm liable to stick you with my sticking knife. Old Sticky's feeling mighty ornery this day. <laughs> Old Sticky. If you're going to be weird. You sure now? It's kind of hard to hear you. You said you'd s <laughs> let's glare at him. Okay, okay, just speak up a little. But not so much that they hear you. They got people everywhere, always listening. Uh, what's going on? There's been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Seems every night one of their herd meets a most unnatural death. And always there's holes all over the body. Work of the chupacabra, the livestock <laughs> vampire, says Nobark. But they don't pay no mind. Too many holes, they say, and there's bullets in them. Well, says Nobark, we got a chupacabra with an automatic weapon. <laughs> That's when they get real quiet, because now they see the predicament we're in. <laughs> I come face to face with the chupacabra himself one night, whilst I was investigating whether this gecko was hiding his treasure from me. Holy shit. He was the meanest, ugliest chupacabra you could imagine. Had two heads and fangs down to the ground. Best I could tell anyways, since when he come up to me he was invisible. Had himself a blunderbuss, what would rotate and shoot bullets real fast out of a backpack. Never seen nothing like it. Walked right past me having an argument with somebody. But I only saw one chupacabra, so I guess the other fella had to be invisible too. Only more invisible than the other one. Uh, pretty close. Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. Sensationalist hooey, cooked up by superstitious yokels, seeing phantoms of their own imagining. You're apeshit. Ghosts. Kami ghosts who don't know they're dead. <laughs> Hoping to steal our rockets so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. Holy shit. I've seen one of them disappear and reappear before my very eyes. 
Although, being a scientist, I have to admit I might have just blinked for longer than usual, what with the shock of seeing a commie ghost and so forth. You're awesome. Because they know I ain't just barking here. What I say has got bite, because it's the truth. Them quack doctors can say what they want about all the rad scorpion stings that done pierced my skull, and I know what I seen. I agree. I don't trust a man that doesn't have something strange going on about him, because it means he's hiding it from you. If a man's wearing his pants on his head, or if he says his words backwards from time to time, you know it's all laid out there for you. But if he's friendly to strangers and keeps his home spick and span, more often than not, he's done something even his own ma couldn't forgive. That actually kind of makes sense. Seen it all. Seen shadowy folk come to his room and leave again in the middle of the night. Thought one might have gone in the lobby too for a spell. Could be that person went in to get something. Or used the John, maybe. Mighty interesting either way, you ask me. Hmm. I thought it was cannibals, come to eat us all for sure. So I kept out of sight. But now I'm no better. Who was it? More rat men. Come up from the underneath to steal young women with promises of riches and fancy mud mansions with all the <laughs> latest designer appliances. They covered our lady folks long hair for wigs, it said, being either bald or balding themselves. Jesus Christ. You've actually been fairly informative, sir. If anyone asks, we never spoke. Deal. He's been quite informative. No aids. All right. Let's make it nighttime. Quite interested in no bark. I like him. All right, she's gone. Let's have a looksies. I'm gonna loot this place too. Two birds with one stone, I say. I love the way that gun looks. Easy peep. Give me those caps. Give me those rounds. I guess it's in the safe. I'm good at that. Bill of Sale. Let's have a look at the wait. Let's have a look at that. We, the representatives of the Consul Officiorum, have this day bargained and purchased from Ginny May Crawford of the Township of Novak the exclusive rights to ownership and sale of the slave Carla Boone for the sum of 1,000 bottle caps and those of her unborn child for the sum of 500 caps, the receipt whereof is hereby acknowledged. We warrant the slave and her young to be sound, healthy, and slaves for life. We covenant... Oh, shit. This is a very professional uh, slaver receipt, isn't it? We covenant with the said... Jeannie Mae Crawford, that we have full power to bargain and sell said slave and her offspring. Payment of an additional 500 bottle caps will be due pending successful maturation of the fetus, the claim to which shall be guaranteed by possession of this document. Oh, so that's why she's still holding on to it. Consul Officier. Okay, so that's Legion. They are quite uh, professional. Yeah, she was talking shit about her not being happy enough with the town. 
Oh my my my. Let's wait for morning time. We're gonna have a word. We're gonna have us a little talk. Hey you. Hey there. I wanna show you something. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Hmm. Maybe I have to tell Boone what's next in this quest. Send someone in front of... put on... okay. She's the one who did it. I hope you're finding it... Okay, so we've asked her all of this. Oh, here we go. I can't see is how I charge you after the generous things you've done for the town. The room's on me. Your room will be the one upstairs, closest to the lobby side. Here's your key. Let me know if there's anything I can do to make your stay better for you. So I get like an apartment here now, huh? How do I get it, her out here? Uh, I've already talked to her about all of that. I hope you're fine. Maybe it's just a certain time she leaves. I think she left around like midnight or so. So 12. Give me a sec guys, I'll see if I can figure this out. Okay, she's leaving. Hey there. You go on. No worries. Wait, wait, wait. I hope you're finding every Come with me, there's something you should see in front of the dinosaur. Okay, if that's what you think. There we go. Come on. You about to get your shit rocked. <coughs> Don't be all choppy right now, game. Why are you walking all fast and weird? I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Watch out for strangers. Okay. I'll change the hat for a second. That. And this. What do you get? Oh, damn it. <laughs> I got to see most of it. Her head just pops. Got your safe key anyways, bitch. Alright, let's go talk to him real quick. I'll pause until I get to him, because I want to see what he says. Alright, let's see what Boone has to say. I wonder if I could have brought anyone out there to get shot. That would have been cool. Hey, big guy, chill out now. It's all good. That's it, then. How did you know? I found the bill of sale. I guess I shouldn't be Whoa. surprised. Be like them to keep paperwork. Here, this is all I can give. I think our demons are done here. Nice, I leveled. What are you gonna do? I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. Come with me. You don't want to do that. We'll kill more with two of us. Yeah, that might be true. That's reason enough for me to take you up on it, I suppose, but this isn't going to end well. Fine. Let's get out of here. Spotter perk. Alright. Very good. Hmm. I don't know where I want to put everything. Go with speech, I guess. 